The male erection involves complex interactions among vascular, neurological, hormonal, and psychological factors, essential for reproductive and sexual function. Penile anatomy includes two main erectile chambers, the corpora cavernosa, and a smaller corpus spongiosum, surrounded by the tunica albuginea, playing vital roles in the erection process. The corpora cavernosa are the main erectile tissues, flanking the corpus spongiosum. The tunica albuginea encapsulates these structures, while penile arteries supply blood for engorgement. Erections begin neurologically, with signals transmitted through the parasympathetic nervous system, triggering vasodilation and increased blood flow into penile tissues. During an erection, penile arteries dilate, enhancing blood flow into the corpora cavernosa. Venous drainage is restricted, maintaining the rigidity of the erection. Testosterone significantly influences erection quality by supporting smooth muscle relaxation, endothelial function, and overall penile tissue health. At a cellular level, nitric oxide release leads to increased CGMP production, causing smooth muscle relaxation, blood vessel dilation, and the engorgement necessary for erection. Post-stimulation, enzymes like PDE5 degrade CGMP, leading to smooth muscle contraction, reduced blood flow, and returning the penis to a non-erect state. Various factors including vascular issues, neurological damage, hormonal imbalances, and lifestyle factors can impair erectile function emphasizing the importance of medical assessment and intervention. Erection anatomy and physiology supports informed discussions about sexual health.